we assumed it was just another gracious act of showing us support and then to find out that it was not that it's it's shocking. A man and a woman are facing serious charges accused of making laxative laced cookies and handing them out to staff at a Tuscarawas County school. Channel 3's Amani Abraham explains how the couple's own social media video helped lead to their arrest. Yorksville police say a man and woman inside the trailer behind me were upset over noise coming from across the street. Picketers were set up in front of Claymont Primary School. So police say the two devised a plan and they aired it on Facebook Live. She for real about to make some cookies with accident. It's just shocking that they would uh, do this in order to just uh, do harm to the people that are on strike. It was a video that surprised Yorksville Police Chief Vince Beal. He says Bo Cousins and Rachel Chirag talked about their plan on Facebook Live in a nearly two hour long profanity laced video. If something happens, I'm pretty sure there's some way they can get you in trouble for it. To police, this wasn't a joke. It's a very serious uh, offense uh, and it cannot be considered a prank. The two talked about their frustration over the noise coming from outside Claymont Primary School where staff members have been set up on strike for several weeks. He's just upset. Uh, he said his dog barks every time somebody honks their horn, so he wasn't able to get any sleep. So police say the two asked another man to hand out the cookies to the picketers. On a daily basis, we have had breakfast, lunch, snacks, coffee, so we just thought it was a goodwill offering. But Shannon Tarbert says members didn't eat those cookies since they weren't familiar with the person who dropped it off when they did learn that threats were being made against them. He had made some threats about going down and uh, actually shooting some of the picketers. And that the two had allegedly made the cookies with crushed laxatives. They turned it over to police. We were shocked that we were being that disruptive to him that he would be that angry to do something that terrible to us. The two are facing a felony charge of contaminating food for human consumption and a list of misdemeanor charges, both being held on a $1 million bond. Police are still looking for a facility to test those cookies, now marked as evidence. One of our kids could have eaten those. Um, that's scary. I don't know that I want to see anything happen per se. I'm just glad that nobody was hurt. In Yorksville, Amani Abraham, Channel 3 News.